بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم continue on our study in this treatise the methodology of the salaf the sheikh mentioned the importance of following the methodology of the salaf upon knowledge so this is an important point the sheikh mentioned at the last part he mentioned the importance that we follow the Salaf based on, on knowledge. We're not gonna, you're not gonna know the Minhaj is the Salaf except with Elm. And this is why it's very important that people don't spend their time, wasting their time, getting involved in the affairs between the Du'at and between the Ulama of Ahl Sunnah, Wulayrihim, busying themselves with those things if they don't have any knowledge about what the path of the Salaf is. Because all you do is you learn more you know about this one, you know about this one, but you really don't know if they're really on it or if they're really off it. Because you don't have any tools, because you don't have any ilm. And you, then you don't, thus, as a result of that, that means you don't really know the madhab of the salaf. Learn, learn kitab wa sunnah. The Shaykh mentioned, Hafiz Allah Ta'ala, he said, Allah the Sublime said, so here he began with the ayat. And the first to embrace Islam from the Muhajireen and Ansar. وَسَابِقُونَ الْأَوَلُونَ مِنَ الْمَهَاجِرِينَ وَالْأَنْصَارِ وَالَّذِينَ اَتَّبُهُمْ بِحْسَانِ Meaning, so the Shaykh said, they followed them with perfection. Meaning, the, uh, the, those who followed the, the companions, or the Allah Ta'ala and Majma'een, they followed with perfection. It is not possible to follow them in a perfect manner except about after learning their methodology. We have to learn what the Medhab of the Salaf is. And what they were upon. As for merely ascribing to the Salaf and Salafiyyah without knowledge of this methodology, this has no basis. Imam Fozan said it. What do you need after that? <clears throat> In fact, it can, be, it can possibly bring about harm. And thus it is mandatory that one has knowledge of the way of the Salaf Asali. This is very important, Ahabatifillah. Because I know so many people, we all know so many people, who claim Salafiyyah, who claim this and who claim that. And they try to put everyone off the Medha, except for them and their two friends. Or they put everyone in their whole city off, except for them and their friend, or themselves. And they have no knowledge. How many people have no ilm, and they speak without ilm? Imam Bukhari said, entitled the chapter, Bab Al-Ilm Qabla Al-Qawli Wal-Amal. The chapter, Knowledge Precedes Actions and Statements. Meaning that anything in Islam, so min baba awla, the, the madhab of the salaf is Islam, that we have to have knowledge. You can't speak about something in the deen if you don't know about it. You can't practice something in the deen if you don't know about it. You need knowledge to practice things sahih, to, to, to perfect your salat. We know people, they don't even concentrate on their prayer. They don't concentrate on staying away from major sins, but yet they know about masjid so and such and such is off it for sure because so and so refuted them. And they know that so and so, sister so and so, her husband said this and he's not even a talib al ilm. And then they follow it. How many cases, how many times we can't even count it, all the misguidance that we have and misconceptions around the dawah and people running away from the dawah from our own actions, from our own ignorance. May Allah forgive us. And Imam Fozan has spoken about this in many parts, as well as many of our ulama of Ahl Sunnah. The Shaykh then said, Consequently, this nation constantly studied and taught the way of the Salaf al And they passed it on generation after generation. This methodology was taught in the Masajid, in schools, in institutes, colleges, and in universities. This is the way of the Salaf al And this is the way to learn about it. We learn the pure way of the Salaf, which is taken from the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam informed that many differences would occur in this nation when he said وَمَنْ يَعِيشْ مِنْ كُمْ بَعْدِي فَسَيَرَى اخْتِلَافٍ كَثِيرًا That's one hadith The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam warned us that there would be many disagreements many اختلاف after he died Alayhi Salatu Wasallam And wallahi we see this all the time So don't care about what anybody says I've had people who, who contacted me and said Asked if they were Salafi still. They, they, they made a mistake or some brothers or something were harsh with them and said this and this. And they questioned their own Salafi. How do you question, question yourself like that so quickly because of one thing? Because you ask a question. This is, this is the type of, of fear mongering that we, we've, we've allowed to uh, overtake us and overcome our doubt and, 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 and be 
widespread in our Tao, but that's not the method of the Salaf. Our ulama didn't teach us this. The Prophet ﷺ said, if tarqa, and this is the hadith that Imam Fawzan used as made his stedlal of, he said, if tarqa til yahud ala ithna wa sab'in firqa, wa tarqa til nasara ala ithna tain wa sab'in firqa, wa sataftariku hadhi umma la thalata wa sab'in firqa, kullaha fil na'ri la wahida, kullna man hiya ya Rasulullah, qala man kana ala mithi wa ma kana alayhi, wa ashabi al yawm. The Prophet ﷺ said, the Jews were breaking the 71 sect, Christians in the 72 sect, my women, the 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. He said, who are they, Ya Rasulullah? He said, those who are upon what I'm upon and what my companions are upon. Upon hearing this, the companion said, which group will not enter the fire? O Messenger of Allah. He sallallahu said, those who are upon what I and my companions are upon today. Sheikh Salim bin Fusan said, this is the methodology of the Salaf al It is that which the Prophet sallallahu his companions were upon and those who follow them with good. The present situation mandates that one knows the way of the Salaf Adam, in order to adhere to it because it is the path of salvation. The path of salvation is what? It's through knowledge of the Medhar of the Salaf. All of the other groups will be in the hellfire except one. This is the safe sect and they are Ahl Sunnati wal Jamaah. They are also Firqa Tanaji as the Shaykh has mentioned, probably was mentioned in the Arab. Only one group will be saved which is the group that once the people became that once the people became divided, the past became numerous. The groups and ways multiplied. This is the group that will be upon the way of the Salaf al This warrants that the person holds tight to it and is patient upon it until he meets the Lord of the religion, the sublime and the most high. The Prophet ﷺ said in this regard, Tamasiku bi sunnati, O Kemakala Nabi He said, right. So, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in a hadith, Adu Alayhi bi Nuwadij. When he's talking about the Sunnah, and beware of newly innovated matters. This is what the Prophet ﷺ ordered his companions, and the rest of the Ummah, to be upon and with. He ordered the companions to adhere to the Sunnah. Why? And, and to adhere to what Abu Bakr, or Umar, or Uthman, or Ali, or Ali, was upon. And they were the Sahaba. What about us? We're so far. We're 1,400 years plus out from the Prophet ﷺ. It's much, although we have a lot of information, we have hadith collected, we have it translated in many languages, we have this, we have this, and we have access to information. But we don't have the closeness of taking that knowledge from the Prophet ﷺ. And we live in a whole different time with whole new shubahat and whole uh, levels of shahwat with so many things that distract us and so many such complex lives on top of that. Look how far away and the Prophet ﷺ ordered his companions to stick to that madhab. What about us? We need it. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us success.